Hi. So we are going to go outside today and I'm going to try and show you how I would maybe scout out an area to make a um, painting or a, just a sketch of um, an outdoor still life. So you would want to include at least one plant and hopefully one man-made object. So here I have my chair, my folding chair that I can sit down. I have my sketchbook. Obviously I have my camera. I have a thing of water. If I um, want to pour water in my little portable water bowl like this um, and use these, uh, this bigger palette of watercolors. So I have my little palette and my, my water brush. So um, I'm going to just leave these here for a moment and just head out and just think about how, where and how I could create this. So um, if you don't have uh, a, an area at your house, like a patio area or um, a yard that you don't think you could find something, um, then you could go out in the neighborhood or a park. You can work from life, which is wonderful and sit out there, or you can take a photo. These have seen better days because they're a little bit uh, sun baked, but I did do a painting, which I'll show you on the, um, uh, the Google Classroom with these two items. So you can have a man-made object being a statue or, or sculpture, garden sculpture, or a chair. Here's bird houses or bird feeders. Um, but have at least one plant somewhere in it for the outdoor still life. So I'm thinking about, see this is kind of neat here. With a, this little plant in the gazebo with a, a chair or part of the, the walls of the gazebo. So that would be an, a possibility. And I'm gonna walk quickly here. Here's a bird bath. That would be something nice with a plant in the background. There's, I have a lot of little garden bunny statues. So um, I'll show you some examples of outdoor sketches I've done with those. Now I'm gonna um, hope or I'm gonna suggest that you use pit pen or waterproof pen to go over your drawing and then uh, some watercolor splashed on for color. But you don't have to do that. There's another little bunny, another bird bath. So, so far we have things that kind of everybody agrees are beautiful, but it doesn't have to be that way. Um, you could take some tools you know, like if I look in our garden shed here, there's all kinds of tools that you could take outside and use for part of a sculpture, I mean, part of a, a setup, a still life setup. And I'll, we'll be talking about um, composition. Uh, you want to have composition principles in mind, like a focal point and so on. So here's a, here's a watering can. And I could move this over let's say to here and think about, you know, what would my composition be? Is it gonna be horizontal or vertical? I don't know if I just messed that up. And darks and lights, you know, think about your sunlight and where it's hitting. So you can move things around. Here's something that's kind of interesting. Here's a couple of little little um, shovels, garden tools. You could put that next to a plant. Our garden is kind of empty right now. We're ready to do some planting. So coming down here. There's Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> I'm doing a video. Okay. <laughs> so here's um, grandchildren. Uh, vehicles, a dartboard, 
You know, what do you have in your backyard? So I'm thinking that I might feature this little St. Francis statue. I might have to pick it up and move it closer to some plants. So feel free to move things around unless you go into your neighbor's yard and move major things around. They might not like that. I did do a drawing at one point of this wood, firewood container, and I'll show you that on, on the Google Classroom too. So, and then over here, what is this for? This is for my drawing class. They're going to go outside. Oh, wow, he's transplanting things. Um, so here's all kinds of little antique stuff um, that you could you could take things and move them around and create a still life. Uh, tools, dustpan and brush, all kinds of things. So um, hope you got some ideas about what you would do. And I will be setting up my little still life and taking a photo of it and probably work indoors since it's kind of hot these days so okay have fun doing the looking that's a lot of it don't just uh go online and pick somebody else's photograph but but actually touch the things you're going to be using so i'm going to show you real fast here if i can so this is i actually made a little watercolor set out of an altoids container and um a, a gum container i'm going to down the phone for just a moment here. So I put a little sponge in it and squeezed some paints right in there so I can take that out on location. I have a tiny sketchbook if I ever need that. Like on plane trips, I'll take that to the airport. And um, I have my, my pit pens, all the different sizes. And Tombow pens are great. You can draw with them and then um, wet the line with the brush and it'll sort of turn into paint. So all kinds of brushes, but here's here's my my water brush. So with this it has water in it out on location and you just kind of squeeze it and then oops you need to um there it is. The little water will come out when I squeeze it. Um, and then you just need to have a little sponge to dab it on in between colors and just kind of cleans itself then. So those are some basic supplies. And then, of course, uh, it helps to have your own chair so you can move around to wherever the shade is or wherever your objects are. Um, so, okay. I'll be making a little demo in just a bit. Okay, bye.